Hey everybody, this is Piper here, and welcome to another Rome Total Tour battle. So this is the third battle that I have of Sway Mussolini and his matches versus AOES Beowulf. So again, if you watch the, the previous videos, I said this, these series of videos are from a, or battle replays are from a tournament league competition that was held a number of years ago. And a lot of it was kind of points based. I think there were some knockout rounds. But anyway, this is the third battle I have of S.V. Mussolini against Beowulf. I know there was other matches played. And I know that Beowulf won a number of those matches. But in the two videos so far, it's actually been Mussolini that has came out on top and been the winner. So without further ado, let's look at the army selections and then I think the battle's not that far from starting. So obviously it's Rome versus Rome. Mussolini has Julii Romans. He's gone with four army cohort. Six archers. The archers, I don't think they're gold gold. I think they're actually just five upgrade. So they're five upgrade. Six Praetorian cavalry. They are gold gold. And he has one light cavalry. Equities on the right flank and they are 4 upgrade. Number of spectators in this battle. Obviously these two players are very well respected. Two legends of Rome Total War that played a lot on the game spy servers before they closed down. So we'll look at Beowulf's army fast. He's got 4 Triari, they are 2 upgrades, so they'll be silver attack. 6 archers, they are 5 upgrade. One Archer Auxilia, Gold Attack, one Peasant, one Cavalry Auxilia, they are three upgrade, two Cavalry Auxilia, and six Praetorian Cavalry, they are Gold Gold. So Beowulf is actually moving to the right hand side, and the Arch War is going to start between both players. So the peasants are there basically just to soak up enemy arrows, forces Mussolini to manually select his targets for the archers. Mussolini slightly outgunned in the arch war, he doesn't have any auxilia, arch auxilia. Uh, that was a great charge there versus the the first unit of Roman archers. And Mussolini is going to pull back those cavalry uh, very fast before the enemy light cav comes in. Pushing forward with the urban cohort. Obviously, Mussolini has the four units of urban cohort, and they're much better than the Terrari in combat. So he's going to force back Beowulf. He has to be careful of that unit of light cavalry. Doesn't want any of his archers to get too separated. And those enemy archers have came back. So. Mussolini is going to come back in for a charge. He's probably going to go for that unit again, try and get that unit off the field. Charging the Urbans forward. And he's got his cavalry very close behind the Urbans, and that's basically just to protect the Urbans from a counter charge. And obviously protect the archers in the centre as well. So Mussolini is pushing back the enemy archers. And he's done a great job there versus the, the units on the right hand side. Beowulf has a unit of Cabexilia. I think he's very busy microing in the centre. He could use that cavalry to hamper those enemy archers slightly. But great job by Mussolini using that um, light cavalry. So Mussolini's going to switch targets and he's actually going for the, the cavalry. Which is probably the, the correct move to make. He's done a lot of damage to the the enemy archers, got a lot of kills there and really made use of the light cavalry. And even though he lost that unit of light cavalry, kind of forced the enemy cavalry to turn their backs because he's firing against the, the cavalry. He did get a couple of good volleys in there. Again, pushing forward with the Urbans. Beowulf really has to keep his Trari back from the Urbans. The Trarite is going to be really beneficial versus the Praetorian Cavalry. 
but the Urbans will just absolutely annihilate these guys. So it's important for Beowulf to stay back, try and get the archers back. He does. He did have a unit of Auxilia. Is that it there? So I think he might have actually lost the Auxilia. But Beowulf is trying to get kills himself versus the enemy archers. So that was good plays by Mussolini, making sure these guys sustain more damage. They might write off the field, but they're only seven, so they probably will come back. And right now it looks like Mussolini has the edge. He's got more archers, and he's got better infantry, and the cavalry's equal. So Mussolini is definitely ahead. He doesn't have his light cavalry, which is something that Beowulf has. Although these guys... These guys are gold gold. He's got two units light cavalry. Uh, I probably would have got one of those to chase these guys off the field. Um, the miscellany's got his urbans a little bit exposed here. Opportunity for Beowulf to hammer an anvil and use the Trari. Mussolini's came back and Beowulf has left his own archers exposed. So Mussolini's got the opportunity to chase down these archers, get these guys off the field and then it'll be very hard for Beowulf to come back. So Beowulf is really looking to get a good charge in versus the cavalry and then route the archers off the field. Um, he's charging in the, the auxilia spearmen and that's Probably a slight mistake actually. Probably should have kept these guys back. Maybe just try to get a better charge in. That's quite a good charge there against the Urbans. But it's going to be a, a route in this area against Scipio. But that was a good play there by Beowulf. If you pulled round the unit of cavalry. Uh, is there enough cavalry here to, to help Beowulf? I think Mussolini's going to pull it out of the bag here. He's got the archer's flame and the cavalry and he's going to win on the left side as well. There's not really too much left to be honest. There's a, a number of Scipio archers scattered about. That's the bulk of the, the Scipio army routing. Is that the general? So the general is amongst here somewhere. See if I can find him. So that's a general right there. He's running away. And that'll be a, a win for Mussolini. So again, that was a really good battle. They're really well played to both players. I think Mussolini's played really well. There's a number of times that Beowulf had a good opportunity and made a, a lot of very good plays. Again, as you can see, there's a lot of spectators here. Both players are very well known in their day and very good players. So again I've hopefully you've enjoyed this battle replay. Again I've only got three battle replays of Mussolini versus Beowulf. I know there was others that were played and Mussolini did say that Beowulf did win a number of matches against him. We didn't have those replays. But anyway thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Something a little bit different. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. This is Piper signing off.